the speed of light, which is probably one of the most precise measurements in the entire universe, actually contains within it a teeny tiny little mistake, thanks to an 18th century stick and one man's guilty secret. Um, so, okay, back in the 1700s, France didn't have this standard measuring system. So for some people were using inches, some people were using barleycorns. Um, a lot of people were using something called uh, le pied de roi, or the king's foot. 32.48 centimetres, if you're interested. Anyway, the revolutionaries of France, they just didn't have to this nonsense. So, fueled by the Enlightenment, they decided they would set out and define a new system. And uh, they were going to use the earth as a ruler. They were like, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quarter of the way around the Earth, the line running from the North Pole to the equator that goes through Paris, and we're going to define a new metric, the metre, don't know if you've heard of it, uh, as one ten thousandth of that distance. Um, now, this being the 1700s, they then had to actually go off and measure it. So they sent two guys off on this seven-year mission where they measured from Dunkirk down to Barcelona. Um, and one guy called Jean-Baptiste de Lombre, he, he got the easy bit. He got northern France. He basically went on a countryside walk for a few years, just occasionally stopping off to, to do some measurements. Uh, but the other guy, Pierre-François-André Michon, um, he got the mountains. Uh, at one point, he got accused of being a spy in Spain. Uh, he picked up malaria. Um, he also had to take all these measurements, kind of climbing these terrifying cliff edges. Um, basically, he had an absolute nightmare. And as a result, he made a teeny tiny mistake in his calculations. But he was too embarrassed about his error. And he kept quiet, meaning that the meter stick ended up being just a tiny, tiny bit too short. Um, now, added to that, because the Earth is a little bit squashed, um, the, the circumference around the poles isn't actually 40,000 kilometres, it's 40,000 kilometres and eight. 40,008 kilometres, um, which is a bit of a shame. But the thing is, because he kept quiet about it, they went back, they made this platinum metre stick uh, to copy uh, their calculations. And every single metre stick that has ever existed ever since has been compared to this sort of standard one, which contains his error. But it also means that in 1983, when they redefined the metre away from that platinum stick, but to be the distance that light travels in one 299,792,458 of a second, uh, the length that they use was inherited from that 18th century prototype, which means that the metre is now forever linked to Michel's mistake and his Earth measuring mission.